But I think that there's going to be there's going to be a lot of new faces, but there's also going to be a lot of guys that come back. Like I think there's more, like when Jay sits down and he evaluates the team. Well, there's five we know for sure that ain't coming back. We don't know. Five? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think look, I think some of the guys that they had probably brought in as freshmen are no longer here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like some of these guys that didn't play that were kind of, you know, iffy. I think that he's probably already told them, like, hey, you may need to transfer, whatever, right? But you go look out the bullpen, like, Gervais will be back unless he gets drafted high enough, which I don't, you know, I don't know. You're going to have, same thing with, he's Razelman's in that same category. I'm going to go straight, just pitching right now. You have those two. You have Cooper will come back. You have Collins is coming back. You have Dutton coming back. You have Grant Taylor coming back, who was like touching 97, 98. Yeah. You have maybe Ty Floyd unless he goes in the draft. Like, those guys are all coming back. Those are all talented guys, yeah. right? So now I'll assume Blake Money is coming back. But, I, like, there's going to be – out of those, you can't have them all back and still go get the talent you have. Right, so, right. So those, those are the tough conversations. Like, he's going to have some tough conversations with some of those guys. Like – who does he believe? And listen, don't be surprised if some of these guys don't come back and end up going to a, a really good school and coming back and playing well against us. Like, these guys are all talented, and if they figure it out, they figure it out. But sometimes you may just need a, a new place to figure it out. You know, a new scene, some new scenery may help. Um, or so just, yeah, there's a, we got to see you pitch. There's another guy that, you know, that you're yeah. like, look, I'll help you be able to land on your feet somewhere else for bringing this guy in. Because right. people are going to want, and this is a, this is just coming from an outside opinion. People are going to want to see different names on the uniform. After, certainly in the starting rotation, but even in the bullpen, I feel like there's going to be a bigger change, or at least people are going to want to bark for a bigger change than just like bringing back everyone. Yeah. You're know, like, I understand they're talented, whatever, but I think that it's going to be like, I don't know if this, this group works together well. Like, they all work, are good individually. I think, but, well, I think you're 100% right, but I think even more so than that, like, let's be honest, if you call a spade a spade, like, when you bring in a new coach, they want that ship to have their name written all mm -hmm. over it. Right. So whatever, whether it's for the better or whether it's for the worse, he's going to want his guys, quote, so to say, in there. So there you go. And here's, here's the other thing. Like, that's obviously on the staff, right? And that's because um, – what up, guys? Um, that's because they – you know, the pitching staff was so – depleted and talked about and that was a big issue now um offensively i think they're going to be in really good shape next year obviously you have cruz best player cruz is probably going to win the golden spikes next year like i would put i thought if cruz would have would have kept playing throughout this postseason if they had made it to omaha i think he'd hit 25 plus homers this year right he hit 22 let me listen I told this, I said this uh, today actually. I was like, I feel like I had a pretty good career at LSU. Washed up? Washed, washed up. I hit 35 home runs in three years. Dylan Cruz has hit 40 in two. <laughs> so, you tell me if that's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, that, that's, and we, we can talk all day about how special he is, but like, he's coming back. He is going to be probably number one overall pick. College final, uh, finalist for the Golden Spikes. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to put up some crazy numbers like this dude is doing at Texas. Like, stupid. He's back. Pearson's back, who hit nine taters this year as a freshman. And got in a little time. Lane. Like, yeah. legitimately showed that he was a dude. He led off in, like, some of the – like, he was on top of the lineup from the last three series on, like, throughout the postseason. He's back. Trey Morgan's back. He got hot towards the back. He got hot again towards the end of the year. So like, I think he's figured he figured out some of the adjustments. I think there's other adjustments he's going to make offensively, hopefully hit for a little bit more juice. You have um, Stevenson, who played, I know he struggled a little bit defensively, but for the most part this year he was he's good defensively. Yeah, got, and I think he showed flashes at the plate of having really good at bats. And to me, if you have that and you're able to put up together those at bats, the other the, the hits and the homers and all that stuff is going to come because if you're seeing it that well and you're able to compete like that it's going to it's going to end up translating you're bringing in a ton of talent 
to come in. I think they're probably going to try to get Duga back, and I think they're going to try to put him at third base. So that's another guy who can swing it and can hit and has experience. So I think offensively you are going to be in a really good spot. You have Thompson coming back. I know people are really upset about Thompson having a tough year. Over the last month of the season, he played really well. Mm-hmm. He didn't play. He didn't play. He was a lot better defensively, and he he started swinging it a lot better. He had some big hits. His average his average creeped up to almost three hundred. He had some homers, um, but more importantly, he played really good defense as opposed to compared to what he did at the beginning of the season. So you have a third year guy, third year starter coming back in him, and offensively they're going to be in really good shape. And they got a good recruiting class coming in. I just I think when you look. At the lay of like college sports, especially, definitely in baseball too. If you look at it, like, I think I wouldn't say easy, but I think it's easier to see young kids somewhat star if you look around and you can find young young players doing really well. But I think when you find good teams in college sports, they end up being older teams. Yeah, they end up being teams who have players who have experience, who have done it, and then it's going to be mixed with. I mean, look at our young, team. It's going to be mixed with the younger guys that come in, you know? So I think we're sitting here and we're talking about those guys. Those are the guys I don't think need to be moved. Yeah. Like, I can see some fans saying, oh, man, you know, Thompson struggled in the middle of the year. No, I want him back and playing next year. Me too. That, that, Shortstop. Whatever he went through, yeah. Whatever he went Unless through. Unless you have year, somebody that comes in next year that's a freshman that is like. No, no. Shorts. Somebody's going to have to come and take it, take the job. And put him the second. My, my point second, is it's, yeah. it's still his job. Somebody's yeah. going to have to come and take the And I no want doubt. him to have that job. Simply because like the stuff that the freshman year he had and then he goes through the up and down a little bit of this year. Like that's all going to make him a better player. Yeah. And if you bring in some talent in here that's going to push him and challenge him and right. push him. It's only gonna make him and them better, no doubt. Yeah, I, I think it's his job to lose. And everything that I've talked, everything, everything I've heard from him about him is he's a really good dude. Like yeah. he like works hard. He's not doesn't. He just he goes about his business. And he showed me a lot about himself as a as a yeah. person this year of how he handled yeah. the struggles, dude. Because like, hey, when you're when you're on that island by yourself, making air, struggling, knowing that you're struggling, knowing that you're better and than the that, the ball keeps finding you, and it gets loud, dude. Yeah. The fans get loud. Twitter gets loud. Like. Especially down here when it when shit matters, like college baseball and at I'm Michigan not, doesn't really matter. I'll just I'll just say this, dude. I'm not at all, and I don't. Really, and this doesn't really. I think this has kind of been the, the the thing we've known all year. I'm not at all worried about the lineup. I'm really not that worried about the pen next year. I do think that what we knew from the start of the season became really glaring at the end yeah. of the season, and it's like if you can address and find some surefire guys to start games for you, this team could be serious. No doubt. Very serious mm-hmm. and real quick, so I think that's a you know they can if they can address that the way they need to. I, I think you're looking at a very good team next year. 